Hey folks, this is Chris Crazy House here, and I want to talk a little bit about this post that I got on Saturday evening from one of my friends on Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me at Chris Crazy House on Instagram. So he sent me this post in a private message just telling me, like, he asked me, is this true? And what he, he showed me was a post by someone else's Instagram channel where they had a picture of Captain America, and it's, it's the the Chris Evans version of Captain America from the movies, and they have it uh, standing side by side next to this painting of a Native American warrior whose garb and everything looks very similar to Captain America. So he's got the the necklace to make the star on the chest. He's got the, the face paint, almost kind of looks like the helmet. He's got the shield with the star. And the, the stripes around his, his midsection are kind of like the American flag or whatever, right? So, and the post says they steal everything. So, basically this person is making the comparison saying that this is cultural appropriation and that someone, whoever created Captain America, stole this design <laughs> from the Native Americans. They think that, they actually think that this Native American picture is a historical drawing and that someone took this and stole it and created the look for Captain America. So, and I had to quickly debunk it, okay? And this is no respect to the person who sent it to me because they're, they're, he's a good guy, very smart person. And I don't mind when people do this. Like, if, you, if you're unsure about something and you're asking a question, that's cool. That's, that's, that's actually very intelligent. It's the person who doesn't know and start spouting off about something they don't know. That's when it becomes complete and pure ignorance and stupidity. When you start doing stuff like that. And there's a lot of that in that comment section. Where there's a lot of people who think that this is real. That someone went out there and stole the design for Captain America. From some uh, some old Native American etching or, or drawing. And I mean this, for me it's like. This took me literally less than 10 minutes to do research and find out where the drawing came from. So, first of all, it's not, this is not true. No, someone did not take an old Native American drawing and come up with the concept for Captain America. All right. Uh, who was it? It was Jack Kirby and his friend. What was, the, what was the guy's name? I can't remember his name on the top of my head. Someone will put it in the comments section. But it was two people that came up with, with Captain America way back during World War II. And they're the ones that created Captain America back then. And, and, and we all know that comic book characters' looks change over time. Like, even back then, when they first created Captain America, he didn't have a circular shield. He had a, a shield that was almost like a, a triangle or uh, the quote-unquote shield symbol that you see, like, on a badge or something like that. That's what his shield actually looked like. It wasn't even a circle back then. And his look was a lot different. So, for those who are for asking, like I said, there's a, a a clear a clear point in time where Captain America was created. He was and he was not taken from Native American a <laughs> Native American picture. So, <coughs> excuse me. Now going into that Native American picture, I knew right off the bat that it was not an an old etching or an old. Uh, art artifact okay so I, like I said I, I'm an artist so I, I do recognize different styles I've even taken art history classes where we study the different the different kinds of art through different time periods this style basically almost didn't even really the the techniques used in this picture didn't exist back then it's, it's very close and it's uh it's almost kind of like a replica but that's what the artist who painted it was going for and the artist who painted it, hold on, let me find his name. His name is Ryan Pancoast. And he's an artist who painted this. He had a whole art gallery called uh, Frontier Fantasy, where he drew all these different fantasy pictures, but he set them in the, the colonial frontier. And he kind of painted them in the style of the, 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 the artwork from back then, like the way that people used to draw maps and, and printings and, and postings and stuff that they used to have back then. He kind of painted it in that style, but it's, it's, it's still a little bit more modern than that stuff looked. So 
that's where it came from. And so a modern artist painted it, and he painted it like in 2017, I, I believe. Either 2016, 2017, he had a whole art gallery featuring this type of art, and he included this painting of this Native American kind of looking like Captain America. But he had a whole bunch of different fantasy settings and everything else that was in that art gallery that he created. So that's where it comes from. It's not cultural appropriation. Someone did not steal design the design of this Native American and make Captain America, okay? So before anyone, uh, before this, this trend continues, I hope to put this video out there enough people see it to where they're not fooled by this stuff. And, and this is this is a problem in our modern society where someone can post a picture or a headline and a lot of people follow behind it. They don't do research on it. Like I said, it took me literally less than 10 minutes to go on Google and find where this, this painting came from and know that it's not a, a colonial picture, all right? But there are so many people in that comment section who are just going along to get along and saying, yeah, it's cultural appropriation. They stole they stole the idea of Captain America from the Native Americans. No, they didn't, okay? And if you're out there putting out that type of information, all you're going to do is make yourself look stupid. Now, there is real cultural appropriation things out there, but this is not one of them, and this is the problem where because you'll have people who are authentic like myself who do know about what's real cultural appropriation. We get drowned out by a lot of the idiots out there because they'll, they'll be more vocal and make more of a stink about something and they'll be 100% wrong. And that makes us all look stupid. So I did not have to contend with that type of nonsense, right? Like I remember a couple of years ago, someone posted a picture of... What well, what they what they presented it as was a to these colonials here in America fighting the original Native Americans and they and they had these, these black warriors with shields and spears and everything else right and just from what I know of history I recognize what the uniforms the colonials were wearing I also recognize the tribe that they were fighting and I said that's not uh American colonials fighting the Native American tribe that's the colonial wars in the 1800s in Africa when they were fighting, when the English were fighting the Zulus. So it was like, but people were presenting it around, making it seem like, oh, this proves that uh, black Africans are also Native Americans. It's like, no, this show, this is a picture from a painting of the Zulu Wars. This has nothing to do with America. Like you can tell just by the weaponry, the weaponry is more modern. That's a lot, that's a, a big problem. A lot of people don't know history, so they don't know uh, what comes when, like what weaponry or what technology came when. They also don't recognize the uniforms or they don't know their own, they don't even know their own tribal history. I, I immediately recognize the Zulus by what they wore. The people in South African Zulu land don't dress like the people in West Africa. They also, they definitely don't dress like the ones here in uh, the the American, uh, colonial Native Americans. You know, there's some similarities, yes, but it's not the same, just based on what those people have around them, okay? Just the different type of skins or uh, the way they address themselves for battle or just the, 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 the technology they would use to fight with. It's always different. So a lot of these people just don't know things like that, so they, just, they automatically get confused and are easily misled when someone puts out some nonsense. So... All I want to say is I've done this before on my original Chris Crazy House channel. Just be careful with what you post. Always do your research and try the best to have a, a coherent answer and a coherent stance and coherent information and up-to-date information so that you don't wind up, self look, wind up making yourself look like a fool. And also you don't wind up corrupting someone else's mind with the wrong information. That's how misinformation gets spread and, and then more people know the misinformation instead of the truth. So that's all I wanted to say. Anyway, Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.